Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored and Never Boring. It's an exciting day today because it's my birthday. Or at least it is if you're watching this on the 20th of June. Um, I've got a cup of tea, I've got a red velvet cake, and I've got this. Alien vs Predator, The Hunt Begins, second edition. Which my lovely wife bought for me. Now, Alien vs Predator originally was a Kickstarter, uh, probably about three years ago now. And the sad situation is that the company still has not fully delivered to all of the Kickstarter uh, backers, at least not to my knowledge anyway, which makes me feel a little bit bad about having this second edition which just came out. But my wife saw it, she knows I like Alien vs Predator, she bought it for me, and I just have to hope that at least some of the funds that I've given to the company will go towards actually honouring their Kickstarter campaign and getting all those Kickstarter backers their copies as well. In the meantime, I'm going to open my box. And the first thing you'll notice is that everything is in a groovy foam container. Now, this isn't actually the first time I've opened this box. I had a very, very quick look uh, because I'd heard some horror stories about broken miniatures and things like that, and I wanted to just double check that nothing was broken in there, and luckily, nothing is. But um, other than that quick glance, that's all I've seen. So, um, there's some really cool miniatures in here. Let's, all in a little removal tray thing. So let's put the box, this actually weighs a ton. There's loads of card in there. Let's put that to one side. I'm not gonna look through all of these miniatures. Um, it would take quite a while, but I'm going to show you some of them because they're quite cool. Obviously, it's Alien vs. Predator, so um, there's three factions. There are aliens. Now, these are, um, I believe they call it spin cast or something. It's a, a new way of producing resin miniatures. They're a little bit fragile, um, but they are very, very detailed and very, very nice. So a little bit of cleaning up to do on, so there's a little bit of feathering and things like that. You'll have to excuse my nails, by the way. I've been in the garden. Ignore my mucky hands. So he's cool, that's an alien. Let's have a look. Uh, there's two types of aliens. I think there's hunters and stalkers or something, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be some that were oh no it's in infants and stalkers that's right i think the infants are supposed to represent the alien as seen in ridley scott's original movie and then the stalkers are supposed to be representation of the alien from alien 3 which comes out of a cow or a dog depending on which version you are watching sorry i realized there was a lot of blank screen then when i forgot to put something in shot while i was jabbering on um here's another alien look um I remember this happened to me once at school with an iron fence. Yep, he's stuck. That's embarrassing. I think he's supposed to be sort of creeping through to launch a sneak attack, but over the top probably would have been wiser. I mean, you're just going to get your head stepped on doing that. I'm not, I'm not keen on that particular pose, to be honest. Lovely detail, though. Lovely detail. So there's a bunch of aliens. There are obviously some predators because this is alien versus predator and the predators are great. He's got a slightly wonky spear, but that's okay. We'll sort that out. The detail on the face is absolutely incredible. Oh, he's got a skull. Someone get onto Games Workshop. Probably IP theft or something. He's very cool. There's three predators, I think. There's 15 aliens and then three predators. Little spinning disc for cutting up frozen cows. That's a good miniature. That is a good miniature. And I guess the third one. It's 
sorry, they're a little bit difficult to get out of the phone insert. And he's 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 got his foot in a little boot polisher. Look at him go. Buff those toes. Or not, I don't know. That is very cool. Yep, liking those. Um, and then there's uh, there's five marines. None of them uh, are representative of characters from the movie, any of the movies. They're just generic marines. But they're cool, and you know they've they've all been approved by Fox, so they they have all the authentic detailing on the uh, on the outfits. They've got like the the mounted cams. The rifles look the way they should look. Body armor and everything. Very very nice. This is one of those models that. Uh, when you move it around the board, he, he's, he's hopping around on one knee, dragging along the scenery behind him. It's one of those pieces that uh, looks fantastic as a diorama, um, not necessarily as sensible for a game piece, but it's still cool. I still like it. Uh, oh, go on, let's, let's show all the Marines, because the Marines are all quite different. Motion scanner. That's pretty iconic. And where are we? Flamethrower. Now that flamethrower looks a little bit weedy to me. I'm not convinced about that flamethrower. And of course, the uh, smart gun. So yeah, the miniatures are really, really good. Um, like I say, they're, they're all one piece. There's no assembly or anything, which is cool. Um, they're using this new process um, that the company uh, Prodos Games uh, came up with. And um, the results are pretty decent. Uh, the detail is good. There's a, only a little bit of cleanup required on some of them. And uh, yeah, I like them. They, they do feel a little bit a little bit fragile but there's a little bit of bend in them there's some very thin parts but I don't think you know I know some people had their boxes arrive and miniatures were broken but all of mine are fine um, I won't look at any more of the miniatures the rest are all aliens and they're all uh, quite similar looking um, but they're all good they're all good aliens and then there's uh, some cards I don't know what any of these cards really represent um, okay it's uh, unit cards doesn't that look complex look at all those stats um, they've used the same artwork on different marine units which is Blah. You know, it's the smart gun guy, the pulse rifle guy, they've all got the same artwork. And then these mission cards have no artwork at all. I mean, it's quite an attractive border and everything, but no artwork. Boring, 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 boring. Um, I mean, they may not be boring in terms of gameplay, but in terms of um, an unboxing, uh, not a lot to show. Um, I'm trying to keep these unboxing videos short um, so you don't all fall asleep on me. So we'll just look at, what is that? I don't know what that is. There's, there's, there's all kinds of, there's two types of cards and they're back to back. Um, okay, these appear to be some kind of events. Sprinklers, all close combat tests in this game turn. There's even minus four modifier. Okie dokie, cool. Um, events, again, no artwork, no artwork, no artwork. and. Blah. So I'm sure they will work functionally in game, but it's not very exciting. The rule book is chunky. It's a chunky rule book, and and it looks quite imposing. 
Um, that's lots of tiny text, tiny, 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 tiny text. Um, I am excited to get this game to the table, but you look at the rule book and you think to yourself, it's going to be a little while. Um, and then other than that, there is just a huge, huge wedge of cardboard. Um, there's tokens and things like that, but the rest of the, to the rest of the, the cardboard is uh, floor tiles, kind of Space Hulk tile, Space Hulk style tiles. Um, good stuff. They're they're single sided, but there's a huge amount of them. And uh, these were all redone for the second edition because the original edition had quite samey artwork and it wasn't very exciting. There's the uh, Wing Corporation logo there. Um, yeah, lots of corridors. Some quite interesting rooms. Yeah, it all looks very nice. It looks very, very nicely put together, very, very professional. Um, game has somewhat mixed reviews. Uh, I understand, but it's Alien vs Predator, and so, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to get it to the table, I'm excited to see what what it has to offer, and, um, you know, if it is terrible, at least I've got some nice Alien miniatures, I suppose. And, uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's all I've got to say. There's, there's, um, there's still cardboard coming out of the box. There's, there's still more. There's just a lot. A lot of cardboard. Um, and this was cheaper than the Kickstarter edition. Uh, I think Kickstarter backers had to pay £75, I think, and, and this was less than 50 um, Yeah. Yeah, Kickstarter backers kind of got screwed, I think. Um, I don't know, maybe they got loads of other cool stuff and it made it all worthwhile if they uh, eventually will get their stuff. But anyway, um, for now, that's me signing off, I guess. Bye-bye, everyone.